Hi everyone, today I'm reviewing WWE 30 Years of WrestleMania, the new hardback book from DK Publishers. If you remember, DK is the one that brought us WWE 50 earlier this year, which is a beautiful hardback book that celebrates 50 years of WWE. I enjoyed this book so much that I decided to bring it with me to WrestleMania 30 and get all the wrestlers that I met to autograph it. Everyone from Roddy Piper to Ricky Steamboat to uh, Paul Orndorff, Howard Finkel, etc. So this is a great book. Make sure to check out my video review of it. And DK also produced the WWE Encyclopedia, which is a great resource for wrestling fans. They're in the second edition. This is the original. Um, but the newest offering is this book. 30 Years of WrestleMania. So what exactly is 30 Years of WrestleMania? Well, it basically celebrates the history of WrestleMania from both sides of the curtain. So you get an insider's perspective as well as an outsider's perspective on the historic event that's been taking place for 30 years now. And this includes stories from influential figures such as Vince McMahon, Hulk Hogan, and many others. There are behind-the-scenes photos and anecdotes, and special tributes to The Undertaker's Streak, Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels, and the Hall of Fame, as well as more. So, let's crack it open. On the inside here, as you can see, is a bookmark. There are five collectible bookmarks. This is the one I got, the Iron Man match, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Also, there is an exclusive collectible trading card about the Undertaker's streak. There's a forward by Shawn Michaels, which is appropriate. And the table of contents here shows that the book moves chronologically from WrestleMania 1 to WrestleMania 30. But along the way, there are other sections dedicated to the Hall of Fame, Triple H, WrestleMania Access, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker's Streak, and The Road to WrestleMania. So let's page through it. As you can see, the, there's a great visual representation in this book where they have posters and pull quotes and old tickets from the events. And there is a lot of great detail about each event, as you can see here. They go match by match, tell you about the story of the match, how things went. You have the the date of the event, the attendance, the full card, the announcers, ring announcer, special guest referees, all of those details, which is very cool. This is a great photo of Hulk Hogan and King Kong Bundy in the steel cage at WrestleMania 2. And of course, who can forget WrestleMania 3, where there were more than 93,000 fans in attendance to see Hulk Hogan face Andre the Giant. WrestleMania 4, where Macho Man Randy Savage became champion, and the Mega Powers formed. And the following year, the Mega Powers collided in the same venue. Hulk Hogan and Macho Man went head-to-head, -head, and of course, 
the Hulkster came out on top. And despite Hulk Hogan's connection to this famous event, Mr. WrestleMania himself is Shawn Michaels because of his amazing performances that he's put on year after year, including his matches with The Undertaker. WrestleMania 6, Hulk Hogan vs. Ultimate Warrior, absolutely terrific match. WrestleMania 7, again, the Ultimate Warrior stole the show with his match against Randy Savage. WrestleMania 8, if you haven't seen it, Bret Hart, Roddy Piper, terrific. Flair and Savage, also good. WrestleMania 9, the first outdoor WrestleMania. And here's the section dedicated to the Hall of Famers. So as you can see, this book is rich with history. And it's also a great resource now that the WWE Network is available. If you're looking for matches to watch but you're not sure what to watch, just crack this open. Flip to almost any page, and it'll help you make a decision. And here's WrestleMania 12, the iconic Iron Man match. And then WrestleMania 13, when Stone Cold Steve Austin was born. Here's a section dedicated to WrestleMania Access, which if you haven't gone to WrestleMania, I highly recommend it. If you get the opportunity to go, do so, because WrestleMania Access alone is terrific. You get to meet the wrestlers, you get to get autographs, you get to see all this cool uh, memorabilia from the event. It's really terrific. Mania 18, The Return of Hulk Hogan. Terrific match. And as you can see here, even in the book, I'm sure some fans are wondering, Chris Benoit is represented under WrestleMania 20 for winning the championship. So it's nice to see that um, it's not a, re a revisionist history. Of course, John Cena. And Triple H, how he evolved from his match with the Warrior at WrestleMania 12 all the way up to his match at WrestleMania 30 with Daniel Bryan, which was an excellent match.
perhaps the greatest match ever in wrestling history. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker, WrestleMania 25. Bret Hart's return to the ring, WrestleMania 26. Shawn Michaels' retirement. Of course, Rock versus Cena. One and two. And no WrestleMania book would be complete without a section on the streak from beginning to end. And the book closes out with WrestleMania 30, which took place earlier this year. A terrific event, which kicked off with Rock, Hogan, and Austin in the ring, and ended with Daniel Bryan being crowned champion. The book includes, of course, the shock over the streak being broken. And that's it. And then just another nice collage. So there you have it. That is 30 Years of WrestleMania. I highly recommend this book. If you're a wrestling fan, it's another high-quality release from DK Publishing. And if this is a sign of what's to come, um, you know the future looks bright because WWE 50 was a great book. This book is just as good, and it's a terrific way to celebrate 30 years of WrestleMania. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.